Welcome to this GIFWorks quick video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the new Smart Entry functionality that's available in GIFWorks 2010. Smart Entry is the new way, the quick and easy way of entering donor and donation information into GIFWorks. In the past versions of GIFWorks, if users wanted to enter in large amounts of donors or donations, they had to go through a number of clicks and a number of screens to be able to enter that in. Using Smart Entry, they'll be able to design their own page and then enter information quickly and easily. I'm going to show you how that's done. If you look at my screen, you'll notice I'm using GIFTWorks 2010 and the sample database. If I sign into GIFTWorks and if I go to the settings area, and if I go under additional settings and tools, I'll see down the, in the middle, I'll see manage smart entry pages. Smart entry pages are those pages that you create and then use to enter donor and donation information into GIFTWorks. You'll see that the, uh, the sample database and, and uh, new databases that you create will have three smart entry pages already one for donations, one for donors, and one for both donors and donations. And you can either delete those or use those or edit those um, to, uh, to meet your needs, or you can create a brand new one. The two sides or the two parts of using smart entry pages are first creating a page or designing a page, and then the second part is using that page. And so the first thing we'll do together is we're going to design a page. To do that, I'm going to simply create on the, click on the Create a New Smart Entry Page link, which will begin the process for creating a new smart entry page. If I click on the Next button, this first page is just an introduction. When I click on Next, you'll see that I need to choose from a number of fields, and they include both donor and donation fields down at the bottom. And, and what I need to do is choose the fields that I want to be part of my entering process, my data entry process. So in this case, I'll click on First, Middle, and Last Name to get some basic donor information. I'm also going to click on some address information, address line 1, 2, city, state, and zip. I'm going to include a status field. And then I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to include a couple donation fields. In this case, I'm going to include the donation date, the fund, the amount, and the payment type. And I think that'll be it. And so then I'm going to click, once I've satisfied with these fields, so as part of my process for entering donors and donations, I'm simply going to provide, I'm simple, I simply need these fields. Um, and you, you can think of, um, you might be at an event or you may be um, batch entering some donors or donations at the end of a week, and you'll need to think through specifically what information you'll need on your Smart Entry page. And so as I've selected these fields, I can click Next, and now I can go through the process of acti actually defaulting some information. So let's just, um, for the sake of demonstration, let me just say that everybody is going to be coming from the same state, which is the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And I can also choose not only a default value so that I don't so that I um, don't have to enter it in every time, but I also can choose whether or not this field should be visible during the entry process. So if I if I knew everyone was going to be from the state of Pennsylvania, I could choose to hide this so I don't even have to see it, or um, or uh, have this field on my Smart Entry page, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. I'm also going to come down and and default the, the donation date, and once I've chosen some defaults and whether or not whether I uh, want the field visible or not, I can then click the next button at the bottom. Now I can have the opportunity to design my layout. So I have, I have two things that I can do. I can first change the widths of columns. So in this case, middle name, I don't need that much width. And I can also um, rearrange the columns. I can also re-sequence re, uh, them. So if I wanted to put, for some reason, I wanted to move state around, I can just simply click it and drag it and move it. If I wanted to move my donation information up to the front, I could also do that. So you can not only resize them, but also relocate the fields um, to make the, the order of the appearance um, much more, uh, perhaps match how you want to enter the information in. If you wanted to enter donation information first, let's say, and then donor information, or vice versa. So you can change the widths and uh, change the layout uh, of this uh, smart entry page. So once I've chosen my fields, set some defaults, designed my layout, then the last thing I need to do is simply name my page. I'm just going to call this my smart entry page demo, and I can provide a description. Once I'm done, I can click on the Save button. You'll see down at the bottom, you'll see my Smart Entry Page demo that I've created. And so I've gone through the process of creating a Smart Entry Page. And now the second part of using Smart Entry Pages is simply um, to actually use the page. So I can do that through clicking on this link right here, Use This Page. Or I can go to my Donor or Donation Dashboard and click on Add Using Smart Entry. Or I can go to my home page. And by adding the widget to the side column, I can also start my Smart Entry right from the home page. And so I'll click on this. I'm going to click on the Smart Entry page demo right here in my widget. And it'll begin the process of Smart Entry. 
So you'll see the Smart Entry page. Looks uh, like somewhat of a familiar grid um, where you can enter in information, almost Excel-like in how it looks. Um, you'll see, let me just introduce you to some errors on the page. First of all, I could print my Smart Entry if I've entered a bit of information in and would like to print it out, I can do that. You notice at the bottom it has some basic instructions. Um, it talks about entering my information into the Smart Entry page, and then I'll need to click the Verify Smart Entry. And then I also have a Summary tab where I can see a summary of what I've entered so far. So let me go through and enter some information. I'm just going to enter a few donors into, into here. So I'm just going to enter in Jack Smith, and Jack lives at 100 Main Street. Lancaster, PA. You'll notice PA was defaulted. You'll see that status is defaulted as well, 17603. You'll see my donation date is defaulted. I didn't have to enter any, enter any of that information in. The fund has been defaulted as well. I can enter in an amount of $100. I'm just tabbing through. You know, um, I'm not using the mouse at all. And we really try to design smart entry so that you can use the keyboard most and the mouse, t and the, mouse the littlest. And so tab through. Now, if I want to use an existing donor, I can use a keystroke, Control D to look up an existing donor. So I can look up St Stephen Bishop. And you'll notice that once I choose an existing donor, I cannot enter any information into the existing donor fields. I can simply um, enter information in the donation field. So I'm going to enter a donation of $200. Tab through. I'm going to change the payment type to cash. I can go through, and I can enter one more. And I'm going to enter her address in as well. Now I'm going to click on the Verify Smart Entry button. Once I've entered in all my donor and donation information, I can click on the Verify Smart Entry button. You'll notice that um, two of the lines under the status column said looked OK, but the last one did not look OK. It actually has an error. And if I click on the Smart Entry link, uh, the status link right here, I'll be able to see what the error is. In this case, it says that it says a non-negative donation amount, a donation date, and a fund and payment type are all required. So I'm missing something, so I'm going to scroll over, and I'll see that I forgot to put the donation amount in. And so I'm going to put $300 in. I'm going to re-click the Verify Smart Entry button, which will then show me that all these rows are now ready to be entered into GiftWorks. I can also check the summary here. You'll notice that I'm, using, I'm adding two new donors, using one existing donor, and a total of three donations for a total of $600. Now, once I'm ready to commit this information into GiftWorks or enter it into GiftWorks, I'll click on the Verify Smart Entry button again to make sure I'm ready to go. And then I'm going to click on Process Smart Entry. So once I click on Process Smart Entry, the information will actually be moved into GiftWorks. And whether this is three or 300 donors and donations, um, I can go ahead and click on Process Smart Entry. Once I do that, it's going to verify that I want to move the information into GiftWorks. And when I do that, it'll complete the process of moving the information into GiftWorks and then provide me a summary here and then give me some options. If I wanted to enter more information using the same Smart Entry page, I could do that. Or I could choose from a different Smart Entry page or I could just go directly to View Donors and Donations. So if I wanted to, I could click back. I could click the link just to go right back and start entering more information into the Smart Entry page. Um, or I could go ahead to my donor dashboard and check out some of the information that was just entered. Like Mary, J. Bl uh, Mary Blige, she You'll see that I entered a, do a donation for $300. The information was entered in. Um, and similar to our import functionality, the, uh, the uh, Smart Entry pages will do some stuff for you, like creating salutations and addresses and providing, um, providing the um, auditing information, like record history, et cetera. And so uh, Smart Entry is a quick and easy way to get donor and donation information into GiftWorks. It allows you to customize your own page to be tailored to exactly the, set, the way you want to enter in information. Maybe you're entering batch amounts of donors and donations at the end of a week, or you're attending an event, um, or you're doing something in which you want to enter similar information or um, uh, quick and easy information into GiftWorks using a smart entry page. Um, so to design it and then use it, we believe we've, um, we can help you, you and your organization be efficient in managing your data entry and in, uh, in speeding up the data entry and allowing it to match the way you want to enter in information. So thank you for watching this, uh, this GiftWorks quick video. And we uh, trust that in some small way, GiftWorks can help you accomplish your mission. And we wish you the best.